Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that AWS Lab. So one of the problem statement we are going to solve in this video session here. So let's see what is that problem statement and how we can resolve that. So my problem statement is you are working for ARK IT Solution Private Limited. Your company wants to launch a new web-based application using AWS virtual machines and configure the resources accordingly with appropriate storage for the tasks. So you are asked to perform the following tasks. So what is the task they are asking to perform? One is that launch a Linux EC2 instance, create an EBS volume with 20 GB of storage and attach to the created EC2 instance, resize the attached volume and make sure it reflects in the connected instance. So this is the task given to us and uh, let's switch back to the AWS console and see how we can resolve that. Okay, so I have logged into the AWS instance here and um, go to the EC2 console or you can also search on the services say that EC2 and go here. So first of all, we have to launch the EC2 instance. So if you are logging with the a new and fresh console, so first of all, you have to create the key pair here. So, but uh, I already have the key pair. It is already um, created for me. So I already used this console before. So that's why I have my key pair. Otherwise, you can just click on the key pair here and provide your name. Maybe I can create the a new key pair here. Click on the dot prem here, say, what is the purpose? Maybe you can tag it like um, key pair for Linux instance. Something like this. You can use this key pair for anyone, but just like uh, for my easy quick identification, or you can also name it with the date, something like that, right? You can do it and say create key pair. So now the key pair is downloaded. We can use this new key pair here for the new instance. Let's go to the instances. Now I don't have any instance here. So first of all, what is the question here? The question is launch an EC2 instance and attach an EBS volume of 20 GB, then resize that EBS volume with to be 25 GB or 30 GB so that it should reflect on the file system of the EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and click on the launch instance here and provide your server name. So what is your server name here? Let's say my web server. So that's what they say they, they are going to launch the web service. So that's why I say my web server. Now, so you can choose any of the operating systems. So they did not specify anything, but it's a Linux. So Amazon Linux should be fine and 64-bit uh, architecture. My instance I'm using here, it is an 82 micro since I'm using the free tier. So that's why uh, that free tier eligibility is 32 micro. Now select the key pair. So which key pair we have created this one, select that key pair. And here you can if you have the different VPC settings, you can just edit this one here and say select the different VPC which if you have. But I have only a default VPC, then you can select that VPC and uh, you can use any of the uh, subnet if you already have. The subnet is already allowed with a port numbers what you were looking for, then you can select that one. Otherwise, you can create the new subnet, then you can use that one right otherwise you can just leave it as it is and you can just say create a security group maybe i say that web server esg so that it would be easy identification for us and i will say the same description here and uh, what should be allowed here so i'm allowing the ssh from anywhere so that it should be able to ssh like uh, ssh port from anywhere just for the 
sake of description so it could be easy for us to identify now i will provide the http access as well to this instance from anywhere so it should allow the http port 80 allowed So now SSH is allowed and port number 80 is allowed. That's what we need for this uh, settings to be. Since it is a web server, we need these two options here. Okay. So now I'm not doing anything here. So I maybe go here and the advanced details and uh, I will just uh, run a, a small script which will actually make the server as a web server slash bin slash bash. So what I'm going to do is that M update iphone y to update my um, ec2 instance with the latest packages and m install httpd iphone y so which will install the web server package and say sudo systemctl enable httpd so which will enable the httpd service and type systemctl start httpd so which will make your server start and running so enable in the sense it will enable the your HTTPD service on the startup so that when you restart the server it will enable automatically on that startup so i make sure that i have um, welcome to tech ARK IT web server so that you could able to differentiate your uh, web server is launched or not so that i am just pumping this to the default web location which is on a slash war www html index dot html which is the default index page for the uh, web server so again i am trying to restart the web service immediate effect system CTL restart httpd so this is a small script i put it on the user data now i'm going to say launch the instance so now the EC2 instance is going to be launched in a few seconds and it will be ready in a few seconds. So you can see that the successfully launched the uh, instance, the instance ID here and go ahead and see. Uh, okay, it says still pending. So it takes a few minutes to complete the initiation, the checks. Uh, once the initiation checks is completed, you can go ahead and browse that public IP address. You could able to see the web server. So if you just type this one, um, it might be not connect right now because um, it is not completed the initiation end. So the VM is not up. So once the VM is up, you can able to uh, browse this page. So let's for, wait for few seconds and try after that. So you can see that now, welcome to take care KT web server. So the web server is uh, launched and it's running fine. You can see that. Um, still the initiation is going on but it is not um, you could able to access the web server the startup service script is kicked in and you could able to browse that so our second thing is create a EBS volume with 20 GB of storage and attached to the EC2 instance so while it is getting uh, initiated we go ahead and create the EBS volume so where you have to go so you have to go to the elastic black store under the ec2 service click on the volumes now you can see by default one you have is 8 gb which is is already attached to this instance and using now what i'm going to do is that create a volume and select the latest version which is the gp3 and our size which is provided in the lab is the 20 gb right 20 gb you can select it and uh, where it is actually so which availability zone you have to kick it so if you select a wrong a availability zone you cannot attach to the ec2 instance so make sure that you are launching this volume you are creating this volume on the same availability zone where the instance is located okay let's verify that where the instance is launched and uh, get the confirmation done okay so now we can see here es west 2b so that is where the instance is launched so the instance is running so now what we have to do so we have to 
launch or create the volume on west to b let's go ahead and volume and again i say create the volume and select the gp3 and the size is 20 gb and select west to b so that is the one where we need that volume is and say purpose maybe it is a data volume and add the date when you have created so it would be easy identification that this is a created a so and so something like that okay so let's say third august 2023 and say create the volume so now the volume is going to create it says that creating so it will be available in few seconds maybe you can just refresh the console here you can see this is available mode so okay let's go ahead and see whether the uh, in the initiation is completed on the ec2 so now you can see the checks is passed the initiation is completed now again go back to the volume and attach this to the instance so how we can attach check this uh, volume so which is currently in available not in use if you select in use you cannot see the option that you cannot attach it here if you see that so the attach is degraded means it is not um, showing as a graded option so it is degraded option here now you have to select the volume which is in available state and this is the 20 gb the correct volume you have to select it if you have the multiple volumes you might confuse so that's why you can select the state is available and look at the size of that and note it down the volume id when you create it so that it would be easy for you to identify based on the volume id right then what you can see click on the actions and say attach volume now select the instance here so we have the single instance it is easy to identify but if you have the multiple instances you have to first grab the instance id and paste it here so that it would be easy for you to select that one then click attach now the volume is say it is in use now it is attached to the ec2 instance now let's go ahead and connect to the ec2 instance and check whether you could able to see that ebs volume or not okay so now i'm using the instance connect the ec2 instance connect and my user is ec2 dash user that is a default user you have to connect to the amazon linux if it is the rgl you have to use root if it is a ubuntu you have to use root as well so now ec2 instance is connected let's switch back to the root so that you could able to do the ebs volume scanning or you could able to create the partitions here okay let's type lsblk now you can see that there is a volume new volume which is created here it is 20 gb disk which is brand new so it does not have any partitions or uh, it does not have any mount okay so maybe you can also use file iphone s slash dev xvd f so it will provide you that does does it have anything here the file system if it is has the file system then it will provide you the uh, the file system name here by looking at this command okay it does not have any file system so let's make the file system here mkfs dot xfs slash dev slash xvdf enter now again go ahead and see that you can see with this command it says that hei xfs file system data so which has the file system in here now let's mount that so by making the directory so let's say mkdir slash data mount slash dev slash xv df slash data so i'm mounting this xvdf partition the disks to the slash data now let's type df iphone edge now you can see that you could able to see the data has been mounted successfully so the second problem is solved so creating the ebs volume of 20 gb and attaching to the ec ec uh, 
two instance is successfully completed. So the next problem here is the lab state that uh, you could be able to resize the attached volume and make sure it reflects the size. Whatever the size you increase, it should be reflected on the EC2. So how you can do that? So first of all, what we are going to do is that we are going to into the slash data and we'll make some files here. Let's say touch. Uh, we'll make some test one to 100, 100 some files here, right? So that it would be easy for us to Let's see, so there are 100 text files I have made here. So once you resize the um, EC2 instance, the EBS volume, it should not delete any data in that particular slash data mounted path. So that's the reason to verify. So that's why I made some of the files here. So now let's go back to the EC2 instance, EC2 console on the service and click on the Elastic Store on the volumes. Now this is the EBS volume which we have to increase the size. So let's select this EBS volume and actions say modify the volume. Okay, now let's make it 20 GB to 30 GB here. And say modify and give the warning here say that if you are increasing the size of the volume you must extend the file system to the new size of the volume so that you can uh, only do this when the volume enters the optimized state so you have to wait the volume should be entered into the optimized stage then you can do the modifications on the abs let's click on the modify now you can see that it is modifying the ABS volume state, it should be 100% and it should go into the optimizing mode. Now you can see it is an optimizing mode so that you can increase your size on the EC2 instance. Let's go and type lsblk and see it is 30 GB. Now if you type df-h, oh, it is 20 GB only, right? So what you have to do? So the disk is increased but the file system is not increased on that particular uh, partition so what you have to do then you have to resize the file system then you can able to make that visible here okay let's see how we can do so it is a since xfs volume so we have to use the xfs command which is called xfs grow fs slash data so that is the command you have to use to grow your file system. Now you can see there is no error. The black has been changed to the uh, 524288027864320. Let's type D5H. Now you can see the data is size is the disk size is 30 GB. It's reflecting here. Let's go to the slash data and see the files. So our files are intact. So there is no issue happen to the any file system. The file system is grown perfectly to the 30 GB. So that's the problem statement and the problem has been resolved successfully. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. There are more AWS labs coming in in few days. So subscribe so that you will get notified when there's a new video is published on the youtube channel please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux ark it uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, Instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back 
for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here 